Do you know about the monster living in some of our lakes? Well, maybe not that kind of monster, at least not yet. But there are even more insidious creatures infesting our waters all over the country, lowering property values, endangering swimmers, aggravating boaters, choking out the natural life of our lakes and ponds. Monsters like this. Monsters like variable milfoil and Asian clam. In this video, we'll... Just roll the title card. Since 2002, through the New Hampshire Lakes Association Lake Host Program, millions of dollars have been spent preventing the spread of aquatic invasive species into our lakes and ponds. As of 2013, New Hampshire Lake Hosts have conducted over 500,000 boat and trailer inspections, and of those, more than 1,000 would have introduced an aquatic invasive species to local waters had they not been caught. We call those saves. And they wouldn't be possible without our dedicated lake hosts. Thanks to them, New Hampshire has some of the cleanest, most pristine lakes in the country. But the problem's not going to stop anytime soon, and that's why we need your help. So, what is the problem? It's vegetation like variable milfoil, Brazilian elodea, water chestnut. No, not that kind. That's better. Fanwort, curly leaf pondweed, European naiad, and Eurasian water milfoil. Also, animal species like Asian clams, zebra mussels, quagga mussels, Chinese mystery snails, <laughs> spiny water fleas, <sighs> and didymo. Ugh, also known as rock snot. Aside from the obvious yuck factor, each of these species presents their own special set of problems for our lake's natural balance. Things like this can clog waterways for boat and fish, present drowning da dangers for those who swim, and the animal species are even worse. Clams and mussels reproduce like crazy, clinging to structures in massive quantities, clogging and damaging props, water intake pipes, and filtration systems. They've even caused some boats to sink under their collective weight. Meanwhile, on the lake bed, their razor sharp shells cut into people's feet, and any lake where they are present requires visitors to wear hard rubber soled shoes to go into the water. And if that wasn't enough, the toxic algae blooms that can result from their presence can make people sick and even kill animals who drink the water. Similarly, mystery snails are known transmitters of disease and parasites. And each invasive species feeds on the smaller local aquatic life, stealing food away from a lake's preferred natural inhabitants. What's to stop these pests from spreading and ruining our water bodies? Well, you are. As a trained lake host, you'll discuss with boaters how they can prevent the spread of aquatic invasive species. Distribute information about aquatic invasive species and things they can do to help. Show them how to inspect their boats and equipment, remove suspicious specimens, collect data to provide to the New Hampshire Lakes Association. You'll even be responsible for inspecting Marine Patrol, Fish and Game, and DES boats as well. It's a pretty sweet gig. Now that you know the basics of what a lake host does, let's dig a little deeper. Let's talk about some of the best practices. In the course of your work, you'll encounter boaters with a diverse assortment of personalities. Most of them will be happy to help, and you can make the most of each interaction by following a few simple tips. First, introduce yourself, remembering not to interrupt boaters when you do. Try to approach them when they're in line or just before or after they've readied their vessel. Be polite and respectful. Always respect the wishes of a boater who doesn't want to be spoken to or have an inspection conducted. Convey your message in your own words, but keep the facts accurate. Phrase your message as suggestions for the next time the boater launches. 
offer educational handouts and sticker as additional resources. And to conduct a courtesy boat inspection and invite the boater to join you. When you're finished, thank the boater for their time and for always remembering to clean, drain, and dry their boat, trailer, and recreational gear after boating. Walk away from any confrontation and leave the ramp if you feel unsafe. Of course, equally as important as knowing what to do is knowing what not to do. The following advice will keep you out of hot water with boaters. Don't engage in conflict or debate or lose your temper. Don't frame your message as though the boater is doing something wrong. Don't bombard boaters with questions immediately upon approaching them. Don't delay people from launching their boats or cause backups. Don't reach inside the boat unless the boater allows you to do so. Don't drain or dry the boat yourself. Just encourage the boater to do so. Don't help boaters launch their boats. Aside from directly preventing an invasive species from getting into your lake, your next most important role as a lake host is as an educator. And your most important lesson is only three words long, clean, drain, and dry. Well, that might actually be four words, but you get my point. So what exactly is clean, drain, and dry? It's really pretty self-explanatory. Whenever leaving a body of water, boaters are encouraged to clean their vessels by removing any and all vegetation, mud, or foreign objects from their boat, trailer, and gear, using high-pressure hot water to rinse it down as needed. Next, boaters should drain all the water from the boat, including the motor, bilge, bait buckets, and live wells. Finally, boaters dry their boat by leaving it out in the sun for at least five days. Following those three basic procedures is the best weapon we have in the arsenal to fight aquatic invasive species. And those methods will apply to any vessel or trailer that comes to your ramp. Bunk trailers, roller trailers, motor boats, personal watercraft and jet boats, canoes, kayaks, and rowboats, sailboats, some of which come with electric motors, homemade boats, you have the tools, you have the talent. Now let's learn how to inspect a boat. First, you visually inspect all parts of the watercraft, trailer, and recreational gear that may have entered the water. Always remember to ask for permission first. Pay extra special attention to common snag points, corners and edges on the trailer's frame. Around the propeller, the narrow spaces between the motor and boat, around the wheel wells, on and around the trailer hitch, the anchor too. Next, run your hand over the hull of the boat below the water line, feeling for unwelcome hitchhikers not easily seen by the naked eye. Remove any and all vegetation, mud or foreign objects from the boat, trailer and gear and place them in an official specimen bag. Ask the boater if the inside of the boat and anchor line have been cleaned or dried in the sun and if all internal compartments, such as the bilge and live well, were fully drained and dried for at least five days beforehand. If not, and the boat has been on another body of water, encourage the boater to drain the water out in an area where it won't run into the water body you are currently attending and ask them to dry the hull of the boat with a towel before entering the water. Encourage boaters to always follow clean, drain, and dry procedures between water bodies. If they plan to use their boat again before the recommended drying time is up, encourage them to have it professionally decontaminated or to hose the boat down using high pressure hot water. Upon completion of the inspection, encourage the boater to perform self-inspections of their boat, even when a lake host isn't present. After the inspection, move away from the boat and make sure the boater knows where you are to prevent accidents. Complete the survey. If you collected specimens, fill out the information on the form printed on the bag and deliver it to your local coordinator. Got all that? Good. Now let's put it all into action. Hi. Hi. My name's Joe. I'm a lake host here. Hi. Are you familiar with our clean, drain, and dry program? No, I'm not. What is that? Well, you know, what we do is a quick inspection. And we encourage you to clean your boat, drain okay. it, and dry it after every use. Mm -hmm. And like right here, I notice you have 
milfoil on your paddle. Oh dear. You know, so let's get that off oh, safely so it doesn't that. get in the lake. Am I gonna get in trouble for this? No, you won't get in trouble. But this way, you know, we all help to keep the lake clean mm -hmm. and we don't spread the invasive species. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna send this off to DES. Okay. But in the meantime, I wanna give you a brochure. All right. That will explain invasive species and our clean drain and dry program. All right. And I want to thank you for your cooperation today. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Good morning. Hi, I'm Jim. I am um, with the Lake Host program. Okay. And I was curious uh, what body of water you might have been in last. Lake Champlain. Lake Champlain. I got to go, man. What's, uh, what's up? Well, we represent a clean. Uh, drain dry program yeah. looking for invasive species. Okay. And uh, if you don't mind, I'd like to do a walk around inspection with you. Uh, I, I gotta go. Really? Um, well, how about yeah, if we just take a quick, there anyway. just a quick look? Um, for, ex for example, here's fine. some, right, here's, right. Here's some uh, weed material here. Okay. And uh, it's illegal for you to transport knowingly or unknowingly. It's against the law. Yeah, I mean, they're gonna get in there anyways, man. Like, what's that? Well, there's a actually a car wash just down the street here, but no, about I've two been waiting miles. For this all morning. Really? Yeah. I'm, well, I'm, is there, can we do something just need else? to advise you, and uh, if you don't mind, we'll uh, we'll shake hands, and that'll be it. All right. Thank you. Hello. Hello. How are you today? Tip top, thank you. Did How you are you? Good. I'm Kathy Todd. I'm Link Jepson. Hi, Link. I'm I'm with the uh, uh, New Hampshire Lakes, and I'm a lake host. And have you well, talked to a lake host before? A number of times. You have. Good for you. Every so, time we put the boat or the wave runner in the water. That's great. You kids are there. <laughs> that's wonderful. Well, um, would you mind then today if I asked you to do a couple of things, such as you go to right ahead. turn it on and off, I can do it. so you could you could clear it out a little bit for us? I'd be happy to. That would be wonderful. Thank okay. you so much. Did you have a good drive today? Chilly but nice. Good. Okay, Glad to hear it. It's gonna go. Here we go. I'm lucky. Okay. All right. That's swell. Thanks. Okay. All right. So, do you know about the clean, drain, and dry aspect of things that we're, we're encouraging people to not only clean their boats but to drain them as you just did, and then to dry it for at least I'm five days. I'm gonna drain it. I haven't drained it yet, but yes, I, I do that so oh, okay. it doesn't mildew and. The... Great. Okay. So here's your little certificate of approval from us here. Fantastic. That you can remember. I thank you and, very much. And uh, remind okay. your friends and neighbors. And here's the information, uh, which I'd really like you to take a good look at. I will definitely so you, do you that. And have our kids and my wife do the same thing. That's super. Thanks That's so good. much. You're very welcome. Appreciate thank it. you. All righty. Okay, I'm going to let the water day. out now, all right? Okay. okay. Good okay. enough. Now you have all you need to be a great lake host. I have a few more tips to share with you so you can make the most of your lake hosting experience. I like to call them the 11 B's. Be comfortable. Make sure you have rain gear, an umbrella, a chair, water, bug spray, and sunscreen. Be alert. Pay attention to the weather, the traffic coming into and off the lake, and people who are visiting the boat ramp but are not boating. Be observant. Many boaters who visit your lake may be coming in from out of state. Treat them as a red flag and pay extra attention to the state of their vessel, as most states have invasive species problems, but not all are monitored as well as ours. Be safe. Follow all recommended safety and emergency procedures. If you can, have your car nearby in case an unruly or threatening person approaches you, or if the weather turns hazardous. Be encouraging. Urge boaters to inspect their boats and gear every time they enter and leave a water body. Be professional. Your attire should promote the right image. Lake host shirts are mandatory. Know the facts about aquatic invasive species and be courteous. Be independent. Discourage company. You're at work, so don't let friends deter you from giving the job your full attention. Be prepared. You may be asked to answer questions about the lake or local area. Be understood, speak clearly, and write legibly. Be in touch. Have a cell phone or know where the nearest phone is. Keep phone numbers handy for your local coordinator and police. And be inspired. This is important work even though there will be slow times. 
What do you say? Are you ready to get out there and give aquatic invasive species a run for their money? With your help, we'll help keep New Hampshire's lakes clean, safe, and beautiful for years to come. And you know what? That makes you kind of awesome. <laughs>